when I was a little girl. Me and my brother Tommy would go swimming almost every day, all summer long. We had a pool in our backyard, and we had a diving board in the deep end. We used to have contests to see who could make the bigger splash. I didn't care that he always won. But after a while, that wasn't good enough for my brother. I loved him, but he didn't love me back. I know he cared for me, but I wanted more. I deserved more, selfish prick. We were good together, really good. But I guess he was too busy looking for something else. Someone smarter, someone prettier, someone, I don't know, blonder, I guess. Did you ever tell him how you felt? No. I had to keep it a secret. I didn't tell anyone. It was my little secret, and I didn't tell anyone about this until now. My brother was a good talker. He was a real charmer. All of my girlfriends just loved Tommy. And he loved more than a few of them. He never got serious with any of them, though. He was always just a love him and leave him kind of guy, you know? But then Nikki came along. She was beautiful. Probably the prettiest girl in school. A petite, perky cheerleader. Blonde, of course. I despised her. She had everything I wish I had. She didn't love him like I did, you know? He was just a trophy to her. She was gonna break his heart. She was gonna hurt him, so I just... I just wanted to protect him. It's okay. Keeping it inside only hurts you. I had to do something, you know? I couldn't just stand by and watch that blonde whore rip his heart out. So, one day I suggested we go tubing down the river. Tommy loved going down the river because of the cliffs. 22 feet of pure adrenaline. When we made it to the cliffs, I made sure Tommy jumped first so I could be alone with Nikki. When she walked over to the edge to take a look down, shoved her in the back. I don't know how she did it, but she managed to push herself off the edge of the cliff just far enough to miss the rocks below. She landed right on top of my brother. He was dead before they could even pull him out of the water. I miss him so much. She was in a coma for months. By the time she came out of it, there was nothing much left. Everybody thought it was just an accident, a horrible, horrible accident.
No one can ever really know what happened. Brother, you said I could trust you with my deepest, darkest secrets. But you're no different than all the rest. I guess there's only one real way to keep a secret. Thank you.